you, you mentioned you were in Colorado. Yeah. And I want to, I want to see this camera. So. Oh yes, yes. Just it's okay. So go ahead and give the backstory so, to the mic. <laughs> and this, this will relate if you're someone that's going to listen to these episodes. I think the through line, uh, not necessarily the foundation of this being Rick Rubin's book, but uh, this book helping me cement my understanding of the creative act, what it means to be creative, artistic pursuits, all yeah. that stuff. This, this book for me sort of put into words a lot of the different philosophies I have, the points of view I have, et cetera. And, and, and especially it opened it up to include uh, not just when I make a video or take a photo, but to include creativity when it comes to time with my family mm -hmm. or uh, going out to dinner with my wife or these other things that you wouldn't think are creative, but they actually are. And that's a whole separate conversation that we'll put a pin in anyway. So my wife and two kids, we go to Colorado and we're in Estes Park and I can be a little bit, um, as, as part of my creativity, I can create a vision for how I want the day to unfold or sort of how I want things to be. And I have to be very careful because there are other collaborators in that, my wife and my kids, I have to be careful that I am not ignoring the truth of how they feel or what they want and just going on rails with what, what I want to do and making them join me because I have this, again, this vision for how the day is going to go. So this happened to me in Rocky Mountain National Park. We are um, at the alluvial fan and the kids are climbing on the rocks and all that, but it starts raining, which is fine because we were getting close to wrapping up our time there. Well, my grand vision of sort of saying goodbye to the park and having like a, a wonderful drive through it was to leave from the exit that uh, was opposite of the one that we entered, in, the entrance that we came yeah. in. So a longer drive through the park to exit. Well, in me communicating that to my wife, she thought I was talking about exiting through the entrance that we came into. So this, going out the same place we came in. And so as we're heading that way, and I, you know, I'm not the best inside Rocky Mountain to kind of have my bearings as we're heading that way. I'm like, babe, is this the, isn't this where we entered? And she's like, yeah, isn't that where you wanted to go out? I said, no, I wanted to go out the other exit because I wanted, I had this vision for this grand drive and seeing the mountains and stopping and taking a photo, whatever. So I was a little frustrated that, um, I, my, what I thought I had effectively communicated was not effectively communicated. Uh, your vision was not going to be correct. Yeah. My vision was not going to be realized. So I'm pretty good at going, okay, that's not, you know, that's, that's not going to happen anymore. So I'm just going to let go and we're going to go this new route. So as we're driving out of the park, you know, there's different hotels and resorts and all this stuff. And I'm kind of taking it in and we come across like a strip mall and it has a, a donut place called Squatchy Donuts. Uh, the owners are uh, firm believers in the existence of Squatch, <laughs> Sasquatch. And so they've made a donut stop that's uh, you know, reminiscent of that. And they have all these fun flavors. Did they have stuff. a giant donut on the... Their thing is mini donuts. Oh. They do like a like a plate. The a, most a tray overused of tiny donuts. piece of advertising yeah. is the giant donut. <laughs> right, right. But it's all Sasquatch yeah. stuff. Bigfoot. So um, I'm like, okay, so I start casting a new vision, right? This is me being creative, the creative act. I start going, I, I get, an, I get a, a vision really quick. I'm like, well, let's stop for donuts. Us and the kids will have a fun snack. They're pretty regimented with their sugar. And so like, let's just go have some fun. And then there's a thrift store next door. And I go, aha, I can check the thrift store to see if they have yep. any cameras there. So all of a sudden, the frustration of the old vision not happening is replaced with the excitement of this new vision unfolding. Yeah. Okay. So we have our donuts and all that stuff. And I go into the thrift store and my wife likes to look through the kids clothing. Cause she sometimes finds some items that we can get at a low cost yeah. that the kids can wear. So she's doing that. The kids are kind of here and there. And I ask the, uh, the clerk or the owner, uh, do you have any, you know, cameras, old digital cameras or whatever? And he's like, well, we've got a drawer over here. He takes me over, looks in the drawer. It's all these accessories. There's no yeah. cameras in there. He's like, but we did just get a Canon film camera in if you want to take a look at that. And I had seen what looked like a black camera case behind the front desk. And I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. Yeah. So as we go over, I'm thinking it's going to be like an AE1, an SLR, which is cool, but I'm not, I'm more interested in like range really finders market, and digicams yeah. and stuff. So, um, well, can and you, just, just to even go even further, like, yeah. we've talked about you getting a range finder, right. Has been like the ultimate mm -hmm. goal. Um, we've and I talked about it on several occasions for probably right. five months now. Yep. 
and I'm not ready to pull the trigger on a, on a right. Leica film camera uh, quite yet because I want to have that experience with maybe a more accessible one right. as far as price point goes and, and all that and get used to shooting on film without it being an automatic point and shoot film camera. Right. Uh, so, you know, I have a list of some cameras that I really want that are on my like Digicam 35 millimeter film camera list that if I see them at a thrift store, I'm going to be like really excited to see it. Right. Um, so he brings the camera case over and I open it up and I gasped. I'm like, oh, like this is one of the film cameras that's on my list. And I had, you know, never seen it in person before. Yeah. Um, only on YouTube videos, uh, or photographs. And this thing looked other than being dusty and a little, you know, kind of grimy, it looked pristine. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, the camera is, uh, a range finder that Canon made through the sixties and seventies yes. called, um, the Canon QL 17 G3. Oh my gosh, that one is I, I added this on shape. there. Uh, and it's cleaned up. I did a full detailing of it. Okay. Um, so this is only for the people that are watching. You can it off if you want to. The, the, ex, is it extruding? Yeah. The extruding or lens. protruding? Protruding. Thank yeah. you. Yep. The uh, protruding lens cap, absolutely essential because yes. then you can do this. Yep. So to anybody out there who's not in on this, <laughs> this is the best way. Best way to stow a camera. Your lens is protected. Mm -hmm. Nothing can hit it. Yep. This is actually amazing, though. <laughs> this it's is like a hundred and thirty dollar camera. I, I've you know, and I've seen some of them. Well, you know, it's not the black one. The black one goes for quite you know quite high. But you don't um, film in here. No, I, I, I took out the light seals. Uh, I scraped them all out, which was a pain in the butt. And um, I'm getting a kit, a pr like a kit that's, they're all pre-cut and they're coming. Um, so I haven't been able to test it to make sure that, you know, film goes through it, that, you know, the, the uh, everything works. The, the, the shutter this, opens. This is, at, you were t telling me on the phone. So this is the first time I've seen this camera. Yeah. Um, and I'm, this, I apologize for no, anybody that's watching yeah. or that's listening because there's some camera ASMR for you. Beautiful. Um, cause yeah, we're just playing with the camera. It's probably not very entertaining audio, but this is, um, he was telling me on the phone that the viewfinder is a little foggy. Yeah. It seems like, it seems like it might be a little it's, hazy. This, this is like perfect condition. It is correct. It's, yeah. Okay. It's, they just, I'm not sure if it's, they use plastic or. But they, well, they're the, just kind of blue. Yeah. That's just okay. kind of how, at That's least in my experience, what I've what I've played with. So, you know, I've gone to numerous thrift stores throughout the Omaha area and have been, for the most part, disappointed that there really aren't a lot of cameras. Goodwill, first of all, it doesn't matter what Goodwill yeah. you go to anymore. They send it off to shopgoodwill.com mm -hmm. and, uh, and it gets auctioned off. Uh, and that makes sense because they're going to get more profit from that mm -hmm. than if somebody buys it at the actual store. Uh, and then, you know, different antique stores here. I, I mean, the, it has been slim pickings. There may be other photographers that are out really scouring the different antique shops and thrift stores and whatever uh, here in the Omaha area. But I'm, I'm telling you this, this was the last thing I expected to find at that thrift store. This is, this is sweet. I think yeah. it's what a good metaphor for just letting things unfold. Exactly. And something's not necessarily going as expected. Sometimes that or I feel like usually mm -hmm. that's the best case scenario. And I think that's where agenda comes in, you know, like you can, you can build a vision or a vision comes to you for what you want to do. And sometimes the source, the universe, the whatever you want to call it takes you in a different direction. And I think if you live in your frustration or something negative, because what you originally thought was going to happen didn't happen uh, and don't keep yourself open to creating something new. And this all sounds very corny, but that's just sort of like if I had a system of faith or spirituality or yeah. whatever, it is that it is. If you're going to be frustrated that what you thought was going to happen didn't happen, the creative act that you yeah. set out to, 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 to have or to make, uh, just let go of it. You know, you don't know what, what it means or yeah. what's going to come of it. It looks yeah. brand new. I it mean. does. I mean, it is, it is in next to flawless condition. Yeah. 
So I'm really excited if, to uh, shoot with this. If that was a Japanese camera, it'd be the Mint, Mint, yeah. plus, 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 yeah, plus, yeah, yeah, plus, yeah, yeah. Mint. Yeah. Mint, plus, plus. It had been a golden afternoon, and I remember having the familiar conviction that life was beginning over again with the summer. So, so.